I think it's about time for a number one versus number two. <laughs> I don't think number two is uh, going to be able to fare very well, considering the fact that they are one tenth our size, but they are a large world power nonetheless. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and welcome back to the Two Sicilies, the tale of Two Sicilies here in EU4. Now, I declared this war for um, Portugal because we wanted to integrate his uh, overseas territories over here, uh, mostly just clean up his stuff in um, North America. So, Mooseland. All right. Yes, yes, yes. So, I uh, wanted to address a, th a couple of things because I, I got some. So, for one, we're going down to speed four to uh, try to deal with the, the lag a bit more. Speed five is linked to. Oh, hello there. Really? All right. So, speed four is uh, linked more towards. Or, speed five is linked to hardware and performance, whereas speed four tends to be a pretty consistent uh, speed so that's what we're going to be going for here but uh oh those guys are hidden down to ava 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 whatever that promise is called so yes we're just going to stack wipe all these guys also i wanted to address a couple of comments that i had received um in re regards to me saying that we were not going to be going for a world conquest um the reason why i had said that we're not going for a world conquest is because a world conquest was not possible when i got the save um, it wasn't because I wasn't going to say we weren't going to try. It was like, it's not possible. So there's no point in trying, if that makes sense. Um, so I got, yeah. And, and I got a couple of maybe a little hostile, a little hostile considering, you know, the ser seriousness of it. But, um, so yeah, that was, I just wanted to address that. Why, you know, give you guys my reasoning for why. Uh, so this is a 100 mandate Ming, but, uh, I don't really see... A whole lot going for them yeah they have no manpower anymore so this ming is is basically dead um yeah no that being said i understand why people would be upset like i understand people want to go for world conquests and uh people like to watch it but at this point in the campaign it's just it wasn't uh it wasn't possible at that time anymore so that's why but uh, hopefully you guys can enjoy the rest of it in the meantime i will say i'm getting much better performance with uh speed four so i think that's the move um, also, I cored up some stuff in the lowlands just to handle a little bit more development because we're under our governing capacity because I built a bunch of those buildings. Diplo, not super necessary, honestly. Um, I mean, might as well take it just to be ahead for the extra trade income. We need the income, right? So let's take a look as far as buildings goes. Manufactories are fine. Yeah, I don't know. We really don't need to build any more buildings. <laughs> I uh, was building some mostly for fun earlier, but we really don't need them anymore. We're, we're past the point where they're going to be useful. Quarantine the province. That's fine. We'll continue converting everything as well. Look at that. Religious map mode is so good. So good. Now, Russia, I would really like for you to convert that. Did you not take religious? He did. Okay. Are you converting? He is. Okay. Very good. So he will in time. Hopefully, probably won't be able to get the whole, you know, whole world done, but let's have you guys head over here and catch these guys out there. And these little one stacks will literally do, they'll do literally nothing. They'll do nothing. We'll be able to kill off all their little stacks here while we're also sieging down his, uh, Ooh, look at that. Hey, how about it? So good. So good. How many men were just able to destroy? Look at this. I've lost 31,000. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Ming has lost 330,000. They still have 500 running around. But uh, these guys are absolute glass tigers. Or paper tigers. I'm not sure what the actual exact phrase is. So where's this navy at over here? There is a navy running around here somewhere. That's an army down here. Um, Where's the navy? Am I tripping? I know we had a navy over here, right? Here they are. Oh, they're just literally hidden there. Okay, so let's have you guys come down here. So we're probably going to end up having rebels here, actually. Let's have these guys suppress over here. And these guys over here will pick up with the with the navy. These guys will suppress this provinces, these provinces over here. In uh, Roman Malaya. <laughs> I love, love that Yemen is on Borneo. Like, Yemen is Borneo. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. I love whenever nations get like displaced like that. 
definitely adds to my enjoyment of the campaign. So we have some provincial unrest to be expected. How's our overextension? Coming along well. Oh yeah, we're good. We're really good. Patriarch authority is maxed out. So tolerance of the true faith is maxed out. If we wanted to, we could go with a national unrest guy. I think we will. Now we'll help out with that unrest even a little bit more. If we can prevent rebels, we should, right? Seems appropriate. Get you guys up here to get that done there. They can uh, attack me if they'd like, I guess. I don't really know why they would. Give that, these provinces to Prussia, the forts. That way they get a little more defensiveness. That way, even if they want to siege it down, it's going to take them a very long time. And uh, let's have you guys head over here. They have a general. That is a lot of men right there. Jeez, oh, Pete, man. Let's shift consolidate. We should be fine, right? We don't quite have a full front row. But, uh... I have Cav in that stack, apparently. Look at them piling in. Oh, they're going to win, aren't they? Ooh, man, they lost almost 100,000 men in that fight. That's nuts. All right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's on high enthusiasm. He's feeling quite good. Let's, um... Where's my navy at? Okay. Thought I told you guys to come over here. All is well. Yeah, we still... We're going to be going... We may finish it the the campaign this episode but if not definitely in the next because uh we are just going up to the end date we're not going to go past that obviously but um here we go get out of there go on get as my wife and i say to my dog often if you guys are enjoying the campaign though let me know let me know because uh Provis and i have been having a heck of a fun time doing this and uh, I know a lot of people have been saying that they wanted to see another campaign like this. I can't promise. Uh, it's really going to depend on Provis. So if you guys want to see more, you got to let him know in his comments that you'd like to see more. Because I hear you loud and clear. I want to do more. Uh, Provis is going to be the one who's going to be kind of determining that. So we have some separatists over here. Let's have, um, let's have my Navy come over here and get these guys. Get them out of there. Obviously, we don't want to have anybody breaking free. Bohemian Separatists are... Handled? Yeah. And Blackfoot Separatists in the New World should be handled. There we go. So, in this war, you guys are going to concede California and Cascadia, obviously. And, um... Obviously, I'm going to take everything over here in the Spice Islands that I can from you. Not bad. And we should probably take a bit over here as well. Take all the smaller islands as well. There's literally no reason not to. Take the Kirills. Actually don't know um, what provinces they have left. So yeah, Ming is the one who's got a lot of these. So like, yeah, most of these over here, like, this is all Portugal. Something like that. That is M Ming, huh? Okay, occupied by Ethiopia. Ethiopia is at war with Ming as well. Second Ming war for Ethiopia tribute. Okay. <laughs> I really like that. I'm glad that I saw that. <laughs> I think that something similar to that happened in Provis's video, but I cannot, uh, I cannot recall it. So let's catch these guys out over here, obviously. That is so many men they have. That's crazy. Actually insane how many men they have in the field. All right, let's catch these guys out up here. Let's win these forts back. Let's uh, get these guys down here. I'm just trying to wipe out as many of their armies as possible. Those guys are not locked in quite yet. There you go. Finishing up a bunch of that. That'll help out with our overextension, which helps out with our unrest. Oh my gosh, we're at minus 14 unrest. That's pretty good. <laughs> Let's have you guys come down here now. We got at least a little bit of a garrison. Some free mana. I like mana, so we'll take it. Have these guys march on over here. 
Ooh, hello. Didn't get a shift consolidate off, unfortunate. Very good. These guys are attacking me now. I will get a shift consolidate off. That's a one-star general attacking me into defensive terrain. This is Highlands, so it's not the best fight for me, but um, I think that it should be fine, especially if we reinforce. They have no general either. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Big oof. Yes. I cannot even comprehend how many... 600,000 men they've lost. This Ming is an absolute behemoth. We got Russia. Yes. I love having vassals. Russia's got... 800,000 men. 860,000 men. That is insane. That is actually insane. I've never had a vassal with this many men. They have more men than I usually get with like my nation in a campaign. And then Prussia over here with almost, with over half a million as well. That's insane. That is insane. We have almost 2 million. That is wild. Nutty. Let's have you guys march up there. And, uh... I mean, honestly, I just would rather peace Ming out. Like a white peace would be fine with me. Because I don't really plan to take anything from them. Though... Ooh, what in the world? What's going on down here? This Prussian stack getting jumped on. Let's have these guys get out of there. This is a jungle fort, so getting them off of that would be good for us. It's a force march. Though I think they're going to reinforce that, so we have to be mindful of that. Yep. I think it's still a win. Very good. Oh! We stack wipe this stack over here, then they attacked me into the... Oh my gosh, this Ming. What in the world is happening, friends? This is crazy. Um, I want a discipline guy for sure. If I can get one. Where are these rebels popping? Oh, right! Get you guys over here. Have these guys head down there. Obviously, we have to be pious and convert everything. Let's see here. 19 months. Oh, we have plenty of time. That's good. So, have these guys kill off as many of their armies as possible here. This is farmland, so it's not as useful. Or not as good of a fort, but... Um, I guess we'll take the morale guy for one month. Just to see if we can get a little bit of extra oomph in the fight. Very good. Set up to Xi'an, or Xi'an, or however that's pronounced. Have these guys marched up here. Ming is on high enthusiasm because of ongoing battles that they're losing all of. Literally every battle they're losing, so. No reason to be feeling good about that. We've won Xi'an. Maybe we actually tank him. We might as well, right? There's no reason to uh, let him live. Nice. 35. They didn't win. Very good. Get down there. Beat you guys up. Let's get over to Beijing. I would like to hurt the mandate if we can. I guess there's not, re not really a good reason not to, right? His war exhaustion has to be high. One? He's lost like 800,000 men. How many have I lost? 140. All right, man. That, uh, that's wild. All right. We got the siege rolling. Let's have you guys head over to Canton. Do we have any forts up here that Russia's taken? Let's give them all to Prussia. This is fine. We got some rebels popping. Canadian separatists? I don't think so. So the Bohemians are somewhere like on an island and I don't know where they are. That's what's going on because it's telling me that I have Bohemian separatists, but I don't. They're probably sitting like on a fort or on a province somewhere. Portugal occupying some land over here. That's weird. wonder if that's a Ming army. I love the fact that Ming is trying to push them for tribute. That's very funny, actually. Should probably clean up these borders over here. We have a truce to them for a bit longer. Ethiopia, we also have one for a bit longer. I'll clean up borders what I can. I don't want to grief you guys. That's a fort right there. Look at that. Look at that. 
130,000, yeah, 140,000 Russians just marching. Just marching. Okay, let's split you guys up. Siege down some provinces that don't have fort zones. Losing generals like you do. It's okay. Continue converting everything. All right. Separatists in uh, America is fine. It does bother me that they're different colors for the colonial nations, but there's nothing you can do about that. Hmm. Yeah, nothing we can do about that. All right. I was trying to think if there might be a way for me to move my capital to the new world if I wanted to. Uh, we we possibly could. Could we? Um, Colombia? Yeah. We don't have a Peruvian nation. You know what? <laughs> Maybe we do it just for fun. It would get rid of all of our... Um, all of our vassals, though. So, all of our new world vassals. So, I don't know how fun that would be. All right, Ming. So, their mandate is tanking now. Yeah, I'm not even going to try the speed five. It ain't worth it. And then we come, come down here and we devastate the crap out of them by sieging in the world. There you go. Siege down as much of their land as possible. Devastate it as much as possible. And uh, just let it ride out for a bit. Looks like they're taking some forts back over here. Oh, no. Anyways, take a sip of my Yorkshire tea while we're waiting. Ah, good stuff. Very good stuff. So I guess it's only been three years. So yeah, this is not going to be the last episode. If you were still wondering. You can see how much devastation we're getting them. If you want to add a little bit of insult to injury, you just scorch the provinces because it gives an extra five devastation. Devastation causes their uh, mandate loss to go up significantly. And if you're going to devastate a province, make sure you do it in a province that doesn't have a fort next to it. It's like all of these provinces down here can get sieged. Okay, we'll wait one more month for a little extra devastation. There you go. Something like this is good. As their devastation and their prosperity goes down, they will continue to uh, implode. It'd be nice to start a Ming explosion before we get off. You know, finish up this uh, save here. I would like that. Let's see here. Yeah, we still have truces with these guys over here. A mm, little bit of mill tactics. I'll take it. I don't care. Makes our battles a little bit easier. Am I influencing Russia? Definitely influence them. Yes. Influence your vassals. Always influence your vassals. We should influence all of them. Barbarians. You sons of guns. The reason why you influence them is because it gives them money, but it also uh, improves trust, relations... But it also improves um, their their mana gen. So it's never a bad thing. Chili. There we go. And yeah, we got these guys absolutely, utterly defeated. It's pretty good. Ming not feeling too good now. Not feeling too good, Mr. Stark. Look at that. Each month, the devastation is going up that much. Yeah, and the devastation will go down quite slowly in provinces that have um, no fort next to it. No fort zone of control. So, it's really good for us. We're getting really good conversions over here in India. So, I like that a lot. Ming is all Confucian. So, I'm curious. Did they convert? Did they coral? Did they get all that stuff on their own? Explo expansion. Yeah, they did. Oh, they didn't take expansion. Just Explo. They colonized quite a bit up there. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, now we can just peace out whenever we feel like it. So what you do is you let their war exhaustion stack up just a bit. Uh, because what that does is that will cause their um, unrest to go up. And as their unrest goes up, you... Um, you... Um, 
harm them a little bit more because what that does is as their unrest goes up, um, when you white piece them, they gain nothing. So they're buying it down. That's a little annoying. I don't like that. But yeah, once you piece out, then they will keep it. So the, the amount of war exhaustion that they lose scales off of how much you take. So if you take a 100% piece deal, they lose all of it. Take a 20% piece deal, they lose 20% of it and so forth. So if we white piece them, they lose none. And so it'll just stay. Yeah, they're buying it down. That's okay. Their mandate is not going to come back after this one. So I'm just going to sit here for a couple more months. I'm not in a rush. If anything, I'm appreciating having them full occupied. You just sit on it for a minute. All these provinces with no forts. You just devastate it a little bit more. It's a scorch a little bit. This is a little micro intensive. If you really want to do like early on, if you want to crush the Ming, this is how you do it. Really get settler increase this late in the game. That's kind of nuts. So what I'm doing is I'm looting these provinces. See, devastating them as much as I can. And look at that. Losing two mandate a month. They're not coming back from it. Admin mana. If we're going to try to move our capital, that's going to be my mission for the rest of this campaign. So Ming, white piece. So now you can see while we're looking at it, unrest is a plus six from war exhaustion. So it looks like they're doing quite well. Positive stability. Yeah. So I think as their mandate goes down, they're going to start getting events that are going to hurt their stab. I might be wrong, though. In fact, I very well could be. I don't know. Have you guys go down here? Something like that. Uh, They should get black flagged here. Nope, not black flag. That's okay. I guess these guys can like come over here. It's fine. Now, this war or this peace deal is what I want. Is what I will take. Can I annex them? Full annexation? Yeah, we can do that. I don't care about that. We can actually very easily um, consecrate a couple of metropolitans to get your get it back up, as if we even needed it. More just for the tolerance of the true faith. So yeah, we'll fully annex them. That's fine with me. Look at that. Oh, come on. It said two reasons. You're bullcrapping me. I'm getting bamboozled here. Who is this? Who is this nation? That is a cool flag. I like that. Yep. Let me just wait. I keep switching like from day to day. Eight. There you go. Portugal is no more. I'll just core it all up. Easy enough. Now... With the admin that I have left over, we're going to see what I can do about getting Bermuda. Bermuda is the province that I want. Where is his capital? Okay, we can do this. We can do this super easy, actually. So let's get my navy. Portuguese separatists. Eh, that's annoying. Let's have you guys brought over here. See if we can get there before the uh, monthly before they siege it. I'm sure there's going to be a few more than that. Just that. So let's have you guys grouped up. Uh, where are they? They're over here. There's their capital. I love that, actually. So we're going to attack them. I'm going to occupy his capital, but I'm going to take Bermuda. Um, let's switch over to admin focus as well. We need to make sure we're doing that. We're going to need admin if we're going to do this. My goal is to try to move my capital from Bermuda to Bermuda and then down to South America. Because the way that you can do that is... Bermuda is technically considered North America, but it's not in a um, it's not in a trade company region or a uh, a uh, what you call it a, uh, a colonial region. So, if you move your capital, then I think we can move it down here. I think. I think I can. I think I can. It's either that, or I'll have to move it to the Galapagos and then move it down. I don't exactly know, but uh, I'm gonna try it. I think it'll be really funny if I can do that. It's going to cost a lot of admin. It's going to crush our uh, governing capacity, but that's okay. Look at that. All that money. Easy. Easy does it. So uh, once we occupy his capital, which we have literally 20% war score just from blockading him, which is pretty cool. These guys should siege it. I'd, I'd be surprised if they didn't siege it in one siege tick. There you go. And uh, might as well annex them. 
There you go. Core it all up. And now we just sit and wait for a moment while we're coring this. And they have rebels over there. So stupid. Okay. Let's have these guys grouped up. And have you guys land in Bermuda. Nice. Panama Canal. I forgot about that. So useful. Who says the canals aren't useful, right? So we've got a few years here. If we don't fight any more wars, it's not the end of the world. I don't really care. I don't plan to take admin tech either. Nice. Ooh. Uh, we should probably clean up these borders, though. So I'll let my new world guys handle that. That way we will be completely in control of North America. Yeah, sure. Sure. And these guys are getting absolutely clobbered by that uh, naval... Um, naval attrition there. I think it's 5%. It says 1%, but I think it's higher than that. Yeah, we need to get this. That way we can core it up. Because I don't remember exactly how it goes. Whether it's like you can... If you have your... So like this island here, the Galapagos Islands, is considered part of South America. Peru, which in the Peru region, in South America. But it's not... Um, it's not considered a colonial region. So... There's some shenanigans you can do that will allow you to move your capital. So that's what we're doing. At least that's what I'm going to try to do. And it costs a lot of admin. A lot. Like a couple thousand admin. So we're going to try to do that. Let's have you guys head down here. Just in case. Because it'll be fun. Haida separatists while I'm sieging down Haida. Like you do. Portuguese separatists. Really? Yeah, I knew this was going to happen too. All the little random islands that they had little armies on. Portuguese peasants. Yep. Ugh, this is so stupid. Okay. Once we get those guys over on the Galapagos, we're going to have to take like half of them. Have them attach there. Okay. Let's get these guys out of here because I can't core it up or anything like that while we're waiting on it. So basically what I'm doing is I need to get out of this war and I need to core up um, Bermuda. That's all we need, I think. Other than that, it's just going to be a matter of uh, waiting on admin, which we're, looks like we're going to have enough of. So that'll be good. 16 a month is pretty nuts, honestly. Right. So we got Bohemian separatists. Here they are. Is this a British? Yeah, this is Britain. Wait a minute. Why do I... Yeah, those guys... That is confusing to me. Have they occupied a province that I'm not seeing? I don't know. I really don't know where those Bohemian Separatists are. Anyways, this is fine. We're just waiting on you guys. Full annexed, of course. Oh no, they have one province. Time to not peace out because reasons. Let's uh, convert everything. Obviously, we don't want uh, those guys breaking free. I love that the Netherlands exist over here as well. Get you guys over there. Handle them. go she guys over there so we're maxed out go ahead and take tech i guess we're almost done corn up bermuda oh my gosh they died <laughs> all right let's get you guys over there oh my little army got wiped sag definitely sag <laughs> it's okay so, yes, this is going to do it for this one, though. And hopefully in the next one, which will be the last episode, we are going to do some shenanigans here. We are going to um, do our best to move our capital to the new world, which will help us to annex our vassals immediately. And uh, I hope you guys are as excited for that as I am. And finally, for the end of the campaign. If you guys are excited, let me know by leaving a like on the video and subscribe, ding the bell, and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys have been feeling about the campaign. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I just accepted a piece with them and I did not integrate them. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot and I will catch you guys later.